Hello and welcome. It's Wednesday, January the 12th, and this is the Greenmar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we are reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, verses 57 through 62. And here is the word of the Lord. As they were walking along the road, a man said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus replied, Foxes have dens and birds have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. He said to another man, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. Jesus said, Let the dead bury their own dead, but you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Still another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me go back and say goodbye to my family. Jesus replied, No one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God. And this is the word of the Lord. The article today <clears throat> is titled, Costly Obedience by Amy Mulder. It seems so severe. A disciple comes up to Jesus and promises to completely follow him. Luke lists Jesus' instructions. Leave your family and follow me. Don't go to your father's funeral and follow me. There is no looking back and serving the Lord. Really? Did Jesus really want us to leave our past and family's responsibilities completely? Surely Jesus would not ask us to forsake all others to this degree. Jesus pushed his questioners to a distinct choice about their focus. We have to fix our eyes on Jesus without reservation to be true Christ followers. A focus on the past can claim, can chain us to a picture of how things used to be. A focus on our family prioritizes others' happiness over pure obedience to Jesus. A focus on the plow and work zones of our own efforts neglects our needs for Jesus. Where are you focused? Yourself? Your family? Your past? Your work? Jesus is looking to you with open arms and welcoming you into a life of radical obedience. That does not mean you will ignore your family or work. Rather, Following Christ is ordering each step with Jesus in your sight line. The hymn is Be Thou My Vision, the traditional Irish hymn. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart, not be all else to me, save that thou art. And from the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 1. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then. Do not let yourselves be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. And this is your daily devotion for Wednesday, January the 12th. Have a blessed day.